Hey Cliff, my name is Erin. I'm with Duff Digital Marketing and I had spoken with Casey last week. So as promised, I'm shooting you this short video just to give you a few tips on how to help grow your business online. And I will keep this short, but if by the end of the video you can tell that that is certainly something that we specialize in and that's something that you're interested in doing for your business, please reach out to us and we can chat. And if not, no worries. I hope you're able to take these tips I'll give you and put them into action. The only thing I do ask if you don't mind would just be to give me some feedback on this video and let me know if it was helpful. But the three things we'll be going over will be content, citations, and backlinks. So first up is content, and that would be considered anything that you can see on your site here. It does include the words, but also the pictures and what your pictures are saved as. And Google wants to see about 1500 words on the homepage of a website. But within those words, that gives you all the opportunity to be able to integrate in keywords that people are searching when they're looking for fencing. So my suggestion with your website would just be to get some more content added onto your homepage. Not only do we want to appease Google by having those 1500 words, but those keywords that I mentioned are also a huge component and that's going to help out a tremendous amount when you're trying to get ranked on Google. So with that being said, we'll move on to the next thing, which is going to be citations. And citations have a lot to do with this section. This is called the map pack. And a citation is basically your business name, address, and phone number listed in various directories throughout the web. And when I say directory, I mean things like Facebook, LinkedIn, Yelp, Yellow Pages, really anywhere else that will allow a business to enter those kinds of details. So you would want to check out where your competitors are being listed and you want to grab those same listings for your business. But then you want to double, triple, quadruple where you're found. So for instance, if your top competitor online has, let's say, 10 directory listings, you want to grab those same 10 listings and then you want to find another 20, 30, 40 for your business. That's going to have you completely dominating your competition in that space, but it does also help you to rank high on the maps here. So moving along to backlinks and backlinks have a lot to do with this section. This is called the organic section. And the way that backlinks work is there is a website out there that has a link to your site and it's pushing power to your site, but it's also potentially driving traffic to it, but not all backlinks are created equal. So let's say that you did some work for someone who owns an ice cream shop and they've decided they're going to take a link from their website and push one back to yours, but their link's going to be all about ice cream. So it's not going to be very helpful. You would want to get links from other fencing companies to send something back to your site and that will signal to Google that that is the industry that you're in. And because of that, it's going to be a lot more powerful, but also more unique in Google's eyes. And this is one of the tools that I use just so I can give you a visual representation of what I'm speaking about. So your website is currently registering 58 referring domains, which are giving it a little over 8,000 backlinks, getting it found for 223 keywords. And all of this is driving about 64 people to your site per month. And now here's your top competitor on Google. So they have 142 referring domains, giving them 919 backlinks, getting them found for 925 keywords, and all of this is driving about 512 people to their site per month. So let's take a look at the keywords that they're using, and hopefully I can give you some good examples here. So keywords or key phrases should really have two components. You want to list the service or the industry, and then you also want to list a specific location. So something like this is perfect. Fence Company, Charlotte, NC. So again, it's listing that service or industry, and then it's listing a specific location. And this particular key phrase is getting searched 200 times per month. So that's a great one to use. Um, fence, Charlotte, NC. Charlotte Fence Contractor. Aluminum Fence, Charlotte, NC. So these kind of all go to show you that you can use variations of the same word or phrase, and it's still going to count as a whole new keyword for you. And you can certainly target multiple different locations within your keywords or key phrases. You just want to make sure that you stick within your service area. That way, when someone does come across you in the search results, they're still able to use your services because you're close enough to them. 
So I will not bore you and have us go through these hundreds of keywords one by one, but I do hope that it at least kind of gives you an idea of the types of things you would want to integrate into the content on your site. And truly, in order to beat out your competition, you just want to make sure that you're being found in a lot of the same places they are. But as I mentioned earlier, too, also making sure that you're always adding on to that. That way you are far surpassing your competitors because that is the kind of thing that gets you on that first page of Google. But that is all that I have for you today, Cliff. I do hope that this video was helpful. And if you would like more information about Duff Digital Marketing and how we can help grow your business via your online presence, please contact us. We would love to talk to you. But thanks again for your time and you have a fantastic rest of your day.